So welcome students, myself Satyabrat Sharma. I am Assistant Professor Assam Downtown University, uh, Faculty of Pharmaceutical Science. Now we are going to discuss the third part of the drug excipients compatibility study, that is the analytical techniques. Okay, so let's begin with the analytical techniques. So now I'm going to start the drug excipients interactions. Uh, so what are the analytical techniques we are using for detection of drug excipients interactions. So this is video is made for the MPharm first semester. Uh, that is pharmaceutics. Okay. So in case of the analytical techniques, we are using various type of detection of drug excipients interaction parameters. Okay, we are using various analytical techniques. Okay, first one is the thermal method. Second one is the spe spectroscopic techniques. Third is the chromatography, then accelerated stability study and miscellaneous. Okay, so uh, in the thermal method, we are using DSC that is differential scaling calorimetry, and DTA that is differential thermal analysis, isothermal microcalorimetry, and hot stage microscopy. So, in spectroscopic techniques, that is FTR spectroscopy, powder X ray diffraction, then solid state NMR. Next, chromatography techniques that is SIC self interactive chromatography, TLC chain layer chromatography, and HPTLC. Then, HPLC that is high pressure liquid chromatography. Okay, but in our uh, analytical purpose, we are basically give the importance DSC, DTA, and HPLC. Okay, and also FTR. So, next come with the DSC studies. So differential calorimetry is the one of the most essential and useful analytical method to give the drug excipients compatibility parameters. Okay. So it is mainly based on the thermal changes of the thermal properties of the excipients or any chemicals. Okay. So what is the method? The pre-formulation scanning of drug excipients interactions required one is to one. That means the ratio should be drug and excipients ratio should be one is to one. Okay. To maximize the likelihood of the observing and interaction, mixture should be examined under N2 to eliminate oxidative and pyrolytic effects at heating rate 2,5 or 10 degree Celsius per minute on DSCA purpose. So this is mainly based on the that is thermal process you can see here the picture is given okay what are the main components of dsc that is two one sample holder is there and another one is reference holder is there okay here you in the side that is heater is already fitted and this is the heat sink okay so cpu is already connected with the dsc apparatus one amplifier two amplifier also required okay these are the heat register and thermoscope and one software and one that means computer is also required for the calculating and storing of the data analysis okay so here one more important factor that is temperature recording okay main factor is that temperature okay so uh what we can detect after interaction in DSC, okay? By DSC, what we can, uh, that means detect. That is elimination of endothermic peak, then any new peak appeared, change in melting point, oblique peak temperature, change in peak shape, height and width, change in area of the peak or enthalpy, okay? So that means we have already validated some uh endothermic peaks of every that means uh excipients or api okay like paracetamol we have already noted in which point in which temperature the endothermic peak will come if we mix two ingredients that means one excipients and one api if we add two ingredients in the same proportion that is one is to one and if we are going for the dsc study if the endothermic peak of each and every compound is not in the proper position that is already validated, that means we can calculate that some interactions 
may be occur okay so these are the main five points we can conclude by after detection of ds next come with the dta that is differential hermann analysis okay so in this technique is useful to investigation solid state interaction of detection of eutectics so in case of eutectic powders eutectic powders means it is not compatible with the normal environment that means when you are put eutectic uh, compounds in a normal temperature it becomes melt okay so it is it should be kept in the very low temperature okay so dta dta is required we are use dta for the detection of eutectic compounds next in this change in temperature between this sample and reference material is measured under control and ideal condition so i have already mentioned that what are the conditions mainly the temperature is the main factor for the eutectic compounds so uh, this difference temperature is plotted against the time or temperature okay so interaction can be identified by comparing dta card obtained from the test sample with those of reference material so these are the main points for the determination of thermal analysis okay so if any interaction occur that means thermogram that is called dta card of a mixer so appearance of or disappearance of one or more peaks corresponding to those of the components that means you can see more than one come one peak one or two peak or less than two peak okay it it will be appearance or disappearance okay it will become it will be the one number of the peak is become that means vary okay the thermogram of mixture show same patterns corresponding to the those of the individual compound components okay so if not interaction occurs so it shows what activity that that means the thermogram that means dta curve mixture so same patterns corresponding to those of the individual compounds okay so this is about the dta that means differential analysis thermal analysis i i have given the short description of the dta analysis so next sic that is so sic is useful for potentious drug and excipients so those who have potent drug that sic okay that means self interactive chromatography we are using for sic for the potent drugs okay drug and excipients so what is the principle for sic that is for different mobile phases different excipients okay different mobile phases means different excipients that injected drug have different interactions may be repulsive or attractive with just stationary phase or drug leads to shift to in the retention time okay so this is the principle that means some uh, that means for the different mobile phases we are using that means different mobile phases means different excipients we are using excipients as in mobile phases okay the injected drug have different interactions okay that means it may have the repulsive uh, interaction or it may have the attractive interaction okay with the stationary phase and by calculating the shift in retention time we can calculate the what is the main property of the particular drug and excipients okay so this is the principle for the self interactive chromatography so what is the method how can you calculate determine so it is a modified type of affinity chromatography the drug is made immobilized at its at the stationary phase and solution to be tested that is solution is the excipients act as a mobile phase okay so measure the retention time and compare with the non retain maker we can conclude it the drug interaction of the drug and excipients okay so this is the process of self interactive chromatography so you can see in this picture these are the that means graphs you can see okay 
when interaction is repulsive, a sharper peak is obtained at the sort of retention time. Okay. When interaction is retensive, you can conclude that the um, that means interaction is repulsive or that means attractive. Okay. So if the shorter picker time is occurs, okay, sharp, sharp, that means peak is occurred, that means we can calculate it that in shorter retention time, the repulsive interaction happens. Okay. Next, when not net interaction between the immobilized drug, that means RT dated volume of codon. Okay, you can see, you can conclude from this picture. In next picture, figure C, that is when attractive interactions, it will have a longer retention time with white P. So from this study, we can calculate it that self-interactive interactive chromatography, we can calculate by the graph, we can calculate it by the graph of the particle, okay, graph of after chromatography, we can calculate what is the main properties of the drug excipients compatibility study. Next come with the TLC and HPTLC, okay. So TLC is generally used to confirmative test of compatibility after performing DSC, okay. So after performing DNC, DSC, we can conclude it, that is the confirmatory test that is the last test that we can conclude that they have no interactions or they have, if they have the interaction, we can conclude it, we can confirm the interactions. So DSC because it is sample undergo negligible thermal changes, it will difficult to detect by thermal matter. Okay. So some, some, uh, that means uh, molecules, some uh, uh, chemicals have that they have the less thermal, they have less tendency to active in thermal properties. Okay, Therm, uh, thermally they are less active. We are putting the excipients with the DSC apparatus, they have shows the less response. For that particular case, we are using TLC to confirm it as a confirmatory test. Okay, so what is the method? Method is that one is the mobile phase, another one is the stationary phase. So stationary phase consists of the powder that is silica, alumina, poly, amide, and cellulose, etc. Et These are the main stationary phase. Next, adhere on the glass, plastic, or metal plate. So st uh, students, you can I know that you can already perform the TLC. Um, that means uh, study. Okay, Ex um, that means ex experiment you have already performed. So one is the main component of the TLC is the mobile phase, phase and the stationary phase. So here we are using stationary phase, a silica gel, aluminum, alumina and polyamide. So solution of the drug that is excipients and drug, we have mixed the solution of excipients and drug. So excipients mixture are prepared and spotted on the same vessel at the end of the plate. Okay. The plate is then placed upright in the growth chamber containing the solvent, which continues the mobile phase. Okay. Any changes in the chromatograph, such as an appearance or new spot or a change in RF values, the component is indetective of an interaction. So this is about the PLC and all the simple analytical method for the preparation of, that means not the preparation, it is compatibility study of the drug experience. Okay. So this is all. Thank you.